Okay, so I got the transmission all the way out. And I'm just going to bring you in for a close-up here. And the main drive baron. I don't know if you can hear that, but as I turn it, it is making a ton of noise. Very loud. So, let me get up and go to the other side. Let me twist this. If I, if I pull on it, it's not as bad. It's still terrible. But if I put some pressure on it, that's just horrible. All right, that's it for now. Uh, waiting on parts. Trying to get this seal off. Uh, so I looked online and I read where you can take a self-tapping screw, just drill into it with it, get it in there and then take a pair of pliers and pull it out. There we go. All right. There, that did work. That's a big snap ring in there. I don't think I'm gonna get it. All right, so I've been waiting on this tool. It's a 16 inch inside snap ring pliers. These are heavy duty. Should get the job done. I sure hope they do. And so we're going to open them up and find the holes on here. And they have a ratcheting mechanism. So once you tighten it down, it holds on to them. I just don't want to open it enough. Alright, hold on, maybe I got it. I got it closed down all the way, but the air is on here spread out and I I did bring them closer together. You can see that little bit of difference but they have too much, too much play inside them. I do have one side of the ring off. I get a screwdriver and I'm gonna try and pop that thing off without it flying in my face. All right, let me get the tool back on there. Got it on the outside here. We're getting there. All right, there she goes. Obviously, I didn't want to damage. Anything. Next, I go press this out. I go press the main drive out of the bearing. I'm hoping it's not going to be too.
too difficult to do. Um, I don't have the specialized tool. I have a, uh, a wheel bearing removal set. So we'll see, we'll get this started. I have to make a, a block for the other side because I don't have a flat piece of steel with that bearing removal set that I have. That'll work on that side, but this side I'm taking care of. So I'm going to get a block of wood. Hopefully that'll be strong enough. If not, I'll figure something else out. This is the point I'm at right now. Let me just carry around for a few seconds. Um, over here, you can see that I have. You can see that I have the pulley. Uh, sorry, the the Baron puller through the hole, and it's. It's about the same size as this. I didn't measure, but I'm not planning on pulling the whole thing through. I just want to get it as far as I can and then uh, go to the next step with it. Okay, let me take you to the other side and show you what I did. Like I said, I didn't have any metal to make this piece. So I'm making it out of wood. I don't know if it's going to be strong enough, um, but the bearing puller comes through and it's right to here the length is just right I did put a hole here and a bolt to go into uh, one of the holes in the case just to center it up and if I start hearing any cracking on this wood I'm gonna stop and apply some heat to this side It's not moving anywhere yet. Alright, I'm gonna get some heat. some more heat to it. Yeah, I might need to go out and buy a bigger torch. I don't know if this thing's going to do it. Said 35 or 40. Biggest thing I'm 
concerned with is breaking the piece of wood over here. And I can see it's starting to, starting to split. Well, I'm gonna give it a little bit more. So far it has not moved it. Okay, so I went out the Lowe's. Went out the Lowe's and then I got a torque kit, 17, 18 bucks. It's not going anywhere. Getting to the point where I'm afraid I'm hurting something or going to. Yep, <sighs> some more heat to Okay, so I've been trying it again after heating it up. I heated it one more time and uh, put it all back together with the puller and it just wouldn't move anywhere. I uh, hit it a few times with the um, dead blow hammer. It didn't go anywhere. So I got my biggest uh, ball peen hammer and it started moving. And I wasn't hitting it hard. I didn't want to break the case. But I started tapping it with the ball peen hammer and it finally moved. So now I'm tightening it down again. It moved enough to get it loose.
Okay, it's moving. Pretty tight. Ooh, there we go. Did that do it? Ah, uh, yep. So now to get the rest of this bearing out of here, I have to pull it this way. And of course it's not gonna. Oh uh, yeah. This <laughs> get that off. Open that with the right size puller. I can catch a lip here somewhere. I'm going to go look at it from the other side. This, I think, is going to do it. Yeah. Now the hardest part is going to be getting it to center. around and this and go like this and I probably need at least two pieces of the wood once I get this piece of the baron out that will be it for this assembly uh, except for the rebuild on the transmission, so. Good. That's what I was afraid of, but that's okay. Can't get it past the block, obviously. All right, I just need to block the blocks out this way. If I had a longer, longer two by four, I could go from here down to here. Give me that space. I take. Take one out and have it against here and have the other one just sitting here. That should now that it's loose. Not the best fit and reach here, but we should do this line. Alright, get that in there. Get the uh, thing hooked back up to it. Pull her on the other side. Alright, so here's the inner race and piece of wood. This is my puller. Uh, it's a pit posse uh, puller for pulling wheel bearings. It fit right on the lip of this, which is what you need. Um, if it was a millimeter bigger, it probably would have been better. Uh, I haven't measured this to see what it is, but it works. Got that race out. Got the race out, got the whole banner out. So, what's next? I still got the the counter shaft bearing to remove. Okay, so I'm working on cleaning this up. 
and cleaning off the barren surface and the uh, um, where the retaining ring goes. And in that surface where the ring is, uh, here's what's on the end of the rag. You see all that metal, man. I gotta get make sure I get all of that out of there. And uh, there's quite a bit of it. That barren was just destroyed. Um, so I've got this cleaned out. This one and uh, this one. I finally got that barren out. Okay, I'm gonna go in on this side and get this the remainder of the oil out and hopefully I'm getting all the metal shavings out of here. It's not gonna be the easiest thing to do to get everything out, but I sure am gonna try. And this, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, you see that? That's what I was talking about as far as what is inside there. Um, to me it looks like it's water mixed with the oil. But, how did it get in there? You know, sometimes you'll hear somebody say, well, it got in there because you, you started it. Only ran it for a few minutes during the winter. Well, I don't do that. Leave it on a battery tender sometimes. And if I do start it uh, during the winter, it's because going for a ride, it's not a real cold day. You know, like minus 20. I guess I need to still take this apart. Snap rings can be a pain. It's just at that size. It's just at that size where the snap ring pliers are just a little bit too small. But the bigger ones won't work either. That's better. I'm pretty sure that the kit I bought comes with the replacement for that one. But the biggest thing is getting that metal out of there. Yeah, I can see it on this napkin. And if you can see the, the glossy, the shiny pieces. Yeah. Not good. Get as much of this out as I can and uh, you know, hopefully I get it all. Yeah, there's a lot in there. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of little specks of shavings. Can you see that on the camera? That's a lot. A lot of metal there. Came from right down here. I'm going to spray this in there. Just a little bit. Make it move it around a little bit, slosh it into these corners. You can see all the pink, uh, which is from the red line, and some of the um, water and oil mixture, too. I can see that in there, in the color, that is. I don't see any actual mud in this section anymore. It looks like it's cleaned up pretty well. Alright, so I'm just going to take this and wipe this out. And you can see all the specks on there. I got some fresh diesel to clean this stuff with. Uh, what I had 
had gone bad. It looked like varnish. Right. Get some poured in the pan and get cleaning. All right, all those pieces are done. This is probably the easiest part of it, just these pieces um, that are easy to distinguish where they go. Uh, what's going to be hard is actually doing the shafts, and maybe I shouldn't say hard, but um, I got to keep everything in order, and I don't want to put it back together and have something in the wrong spot. So just remember that if you're doing this, to keep it all organized. I take the this is the main shaft and I'm just sliding the pieces off as they are on here so first thing was the shift fork that I took off just because it sits in here and uh, then I'm gonna I slid off the uh, retaining ring which will be replaced so I didn't worry about washing that next is this this gear and the dog and what I'm going to do, when I pull them off this way, uh, set them down. So I know that all I got to do is pick it up and slide it back on. That's the direction it goes. I'm going to pick this up. And remember, this piece is um, recessed. So that is going to be the piece that goes this direction. Just gotta, you got to remember this. You don't want to put it back together and be realizing that, oh crap, put it back together at all. So, just going to wash it up. All right, again on this shaft, this end is the part of the shaft that doesn't come off. So I'm going to start with the other end and pull each piece off. And I'm going to do the same thing, take it off in the way that it fits. 
it'll go back on. It'll go down on the piece first. I'm going to put it down, face down, uh, just so that way it's easier to remember which way stuff goes. Okay, that's it. That does not come off, and neither does the end. Alright, it's all apart. Now I just clean this. Alright, so everything, after I finish this piece, all of it has been cleaned one time. Like I said, I'm going to do it a second time. Uh, the biggest reason is I have so much metal flake. I don't want to leave it, you know, I want to get as much of it out of there as I can. Alright, that's it. It's clean. I'm going to run it, do it one more time. And, uh, then I'm going to take it and I spray it all down with the brake cleaner, get all the diesel off of them, and then start putting it back together, 